What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at a game called Construction Simulator. Now this is a game I've been waiting for for quite a while and it was first kind of sneak peeked on uh, social media a little while ago when we first took a look at the trailer and I was really excited for this one. If you've followed this channel for any time you'll know that I played the, played the previous one, Construction Simulator 3. And they've kind of dropped the number off the end now and this is commonly referred to I guess as Construction Simulator 2022. But yeah, Astragon Entertainment provided the code for this game for me so I'm really excited to take a look at this one and I want to jump into this and have a look together if that's possible. Now also guys I just want to say this game does release on the 20th of September. I'm not here to promote the game I just want to take a look at it. Really enjoyed the last one so that's why I was kind of really sort of enthusiastic about getting the code to see this before it was released and I want to tell you as well it comes out on Xbox One or the series consoles PS4 PS5 and PC we were playing on PC today and the previous game actually I was taking a look at this the previous game came out on a multitude of consoles the same sort of thing but also was released on mobile devices as well which I wasn't aware of till I started looking into this today but Let's forget about the past, we'll move on, take a look at this new version now. Now, I just want to tell you firstly, I just firstly went into the settings and there's a bunch of stuff that I kind of messed around with here, but mainly I just wanted to show you my settings that I'm using video wise. So I do have VSync switched on, which is important to me. And also, as you can see, generally my settings are fairly high. The only thing that I will say needs to stay off at the moment is the side mirrors. So when you're internal camera, yeah, we switched the side mirrors off because it was causing a bit of stuttering, which I wasn't too happy about. The only other thing that I've changed as well, I've switched the music off because I don't want to get caught with any copyright infringements, which, you know, is something which has happened to people in the past when they sort of play a game with in-game music. So we'll hit start game. We're going to create a new profile. As you can see, there's quite a few characters that you can choose from to get started. Quite a few different types, by all means, and I mean... It's good to see variety, but I guess our choice is going to be this one. This is the most one that looks like me, I guess, even though it doesn't. It doesn't have the beard. But anyway, kind of base colour. This is the sort of um, colour of the sleeves, I guess. I am a fan of the colour blue, so if we can actually get to that. There we go. I guess we'll go with this blue. Um, PPE colour. A nice pink would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be quite fun. I guess typically you want to be going with orange or your yellow. Let's go with blue, why not? Helmet types, well there's only one at the moment by the looks of things. Go with ear protection if you want, which I won't. <laughs> and then glasses, you can do your choice there as well, I guess. A nice set of um, protecting protective glasses wouldn't go amiss, would it? You can also have a decal as well on your helmet if you want. I think we'll just leave it like that, although that one's quite good. Don't mind a bit of that. Tell you what, let's do that, except uh, player name. Well, I kind of like the name Donny at the moment. I don't know why. It's kind of trying to pick like really, really uh, random names when it comes to games like this. So in this game, you can start your own game or you can have a multiplayer game with friends as well, which is quite good, I think. I think that's quite fun to actually get together and give it a crack together. But for now, we'll press start game. I'm going to create a new profile, um, a new company, should I say. And in this instance, I do want to say, this does tell you here that when you're choosing a region, that your company will be located in whichever region you choose. But it also tells you, not only do the scenarios look different, but the contracts you can play reflect the different types of construction typical to that region. That sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, we're going to start with Europe, but I wouldn't mind at some point going across and checking out the US stuff as well. Just to see how different it is, for one. Um, I guess as a construction company, you can't go wrong with a hammer and and a screwdriver, can you? Although I do like the pneumatic drill. It's still the pneumatic drill. Um, what should we call our company? Uh, I don't want to go with anything too generic, but... Let's go Donny Rex. We're going to do a bit of wrecking, I think, if we can. And that's why I'm calling it that. Just to set it off on the right tone. Um, so yeah, once again, create create a single player game like that. So we're in there now. So guys, yeah, hope everything sounds okay. Now, I apologise about my voice. I haven't been very well recently. I've had a bit of a chest infection. 
good antibiotics now so hopefully that'll help but I do want to do this video I want to get back into doing videos regularly uh, took a bit of a break over the summer and I want to get back into it and this seems like a really good game to start off with because it is one that I've looked forward to but as you can see here a rough start and it kind of gives you a bit of spiel about what's going to happen here once again it's about a long time family friend the owner of a local construction company there's a bad storm that needs your help so you're just going to sort of help at first but uh, we're going to hit enter to continue we are playing on mouse and keyboard but um, I will say you can play on controller if you want but there's no wheel support which was strange to me I had my wheel at the ready I was ready to go guys I'll tell you I was ready to do some driving with the wheel, but you have no support from what I could tell. Could be wrong, let me know. But you can also sprint, you can jump, you can do your Fortnite thing like this, you know, when people are shooting at you, kind of looking around. No? Oh, sorry guys, apologise. We, we are doing construction simulator after all, we're not, um, none of that silliness, eh? Jumping all the way down the steps, I guess movement is quicker with jumping, right? Sorry, I had, to, I had to try it again. Okay, G is generally our action button for some reason. Bit of a reach away from the usual F. But, ah, um, finally. There you have a listen are. to this anyway. I hope you haven't forgotten me. Well, if you want me to jog your memory, it's me, Poppin. I always knew you'd become a real construction ace someday. Now is your chance to prove it, because I urgently need your help. So let's get moving. There was a bad storm last night, and it left a ton of damage in its path. There's been a landslide at the bridge coming into the village. It also knocked down a utility pole, and many parts of the village lost power. We have to get over there and clear the road. We'll need a wheel loader, which I have to pick up. It's best if you get behind the wheel of the flatbed truck and drive ahead. Just follow the GPS to the meeting point. Right, so there we go, so he's going to get the wheel loader, which we'll see what that is in just a minute, but as you can see we've got a nice little flatbed truck here with the, um, I think this is licensed, if I believe, yeah, M-A-N, licensed truck, so we'll jump in, so we can press F, and then we can select our lights and switch those on. Now we'll do headlights. Can we do a rotating light as well? Oh yeah, we can look at that. Okay, I guess we'll switch that off just for this time of the morning because everybody's still asleep. We don't want to cause too much chaos. What else have we got? Warning lights. Yep, the usual stuff. Uh, turn off all lights. Okay, so we can do that as well. Stick our headlights back on. Um, change mode will be to do with the operation of the thing at the back here. But camera-wise, you can also switch to an internal view, like this. And as I said, the um, the mirrors do look pretty good when you have them on, but they, do, they were causing a bit of a stutter for me, and that's not due to the performance of this PC. Um, this PC gets around about, well, limited by the monitor, about 170 um, FPS. So it's not that, but yeah, it just... I c this is actually switched off as default, so I think there's a reason for that. It seems to be that there's a reason. Um, although I may mess around and have a go at switching the, the mirrors on at low detail. Because, yeah, naturally I'd want to go for... I think the medium was the highest detail that you could have, so... We're playing with keyboard and mouse, like I say, guys. You can play with Xbox controller if you want on, on PC. Um, the controls as well, I'll say this, um, they're very, very delicate... Um, although not as delicate as some games that I've played like they're not like viciously delicate um, as you can see the sound is great the graphics are pretty good from what I've played well, from what I've seen so far the graphics are pretty good right let's get ourselves around here anyway to the site that we're going to as you can see there's a bit of popping going on as well um, the draw distance doesn't seem that brilliant do a stop here for this red light. I think, I mean, on the previous games, you would get a ticket for going through the red light, so I don't want to do that straight away, that's for sure. I think we can press F1 for help as well. So that brings up the controls. So, as you can see, you can do a map. Uh, pressing F was the context menu, which brought up the camera controls. G gets you in and out like Gran Turismo. 
We've got a construction view with V. You've got the throttle brake steering. Um, and then your lift dumper up and down, which will be, again, the controls at the back. Yeah. It's not letting us do that right now. We can press tab to do a function mode. See what happens. Oh, there we go, right in the middle of the road. Tell you what, we'll put that back. Because these lights are changing, look. How did I know? That was just a good guess, really. We can do a backspace for a reset as well. And I think if we press F1 again, again, you can do horn. Neighbours are going to love us. And do K for camera mode. That's two, just the two different views, which is good, because there was quite a few different... Um, quite a few different views last time. We can do a camera wheel for distance. Hold down left mouse button to rotate. Same with right mouse button. Okay, so... Let's get cracking up this hill where we're going to be doing some uh, clearing of this landslide, the guy said, right? Can't even remember the guy's name. He said, he told us that we might not remember. Well, he's right. We've forgotten it already. Whoa, look at this. That's what I mean. If you're driving pretty quick, you can do some funky things with these trucks. But I do like the controls. They're feisty. And that's quite good. Anyway, we'll jump out. Do a jump. Whoa, just to get ourselves in the mood for a bit of construction, right? Again, yeah, I'm ready for action, right? Let's go and see what we're doing now. Turn on the generator. I'm guessing this is the generator, right? Hit G. Guess this is gonna fire up the light. <clears throat> That's a nice touch. Again, it's, it's quite an advancement over the last game, I'd say. Right, okay, let's get cracking then. Okay, the landslide has to be cleared off the roadway. With the wheel loader, this should be done in no time. Okay, let's run over here then. The run makes me laugh, I don't know why. It's just kind of a strange strange run. Anyway, okay, wheel loader. So these are the different examples. Um, you can load soil, gravel, uh, or sand. Properly aligned, the bucket of a wheel loader is suitable for clearing, flattening, and spreading bulk materials. So these are the basically the different vehicles here. I remember in the last game these were quite tasty. Quite like using these. They seemed right for just clearing the um clearing the floor, getting down low. Is where some of these ones are kind of especially you know, one of this one that we're using even, it's not ideal for it. You can do a bulk load, first approach bulk material with the wheel loader to raise and lower the boom, use up and down, open the shovel with left and right, uh, sorry, basically open it with right and close it with left, carefully accelerate with the shovel aligned to pick up bulk material in front of you and then un unload the bulk, which it'll tell us where to do that basically lifting it up and then dropping it, but to flatten the surface, lower the boom and tilt the shovel slightly forward okay, I did have a problem with this on the previous game, so this is a nice little tutorial actually and I think this kind of this um, I think this is classed as like a notebook, and I think you can open this at any time, which is good. It's a lot. It seems easier at the moment to find your way around, which is good, because the last game wasn't so easy to find your way around and to figure things out. It took quite a lot of um, trial and error, and once again, I think we're back to compact loaders, which is maybe what this is talking about here. But yeah, it's typical for gardening and landscaping, with a wheel or drive track. Yeah. I mean, it's basically just giving you a bit more information here. Suitable for clearing and flattening work as well as spreading bulk materials. So pretty similar in a lot of ways, but I guess um, if we hit it F, try the manual. Okay, so that's kind of a different screen, which gives us a lot of different vehicles. Well, it's good to know that that's there. We'll come out of here for now. We'll crack on and get this cleared, I think. So, oh, we're dragging that along the floor a bit. Let's lift it up. So it's telling us that we can hide the controls if we want with F1. If we really wanted to clear the screen, you can get rid of air. Uh, well, the, on the previous game, you could get rid of everything off the screen as well, but... I think we'll just keep this open for a minute here. 
think I'll just turn this round. As I say, so the acceleration's a bit feisty. I think I've said this about five times now, but I'm trying to let you know that um, it's not as easy as what it looks. And I'm expecting to be able to see somewhere how much percentage-wise we've got in here. And what's this here? What's this about? Okay, we'll tip that back a bit like that and then we'll dump this in here. We're 94% I think full. I think that's what that means up at the top here. I think it means that we are 94% full. That's a guess. But I am reckon that does. So we'll get this over here now. I think it wants us to tip here, right? Okay, let's go and do another lot. As you can see, I think the graphics are really good, really. I'm looking forward to really getting stuck into this because it just looks fantastic. Right, okay. Um, once again, we have to think a little bit about what it means. So left is kind of up, right is down. Okay, right is down. It's a little bit... Uh, it is... I'd say it's intuitive, but it is difficult to get used to as well for some reason. Okay, right. So, what did we say was up? Not right. Left is up. And then up lifts that up like that. So left tilts up and up is obviously up with the actual whole arm. And then right is tilting down. Oh, went off a little bit there. I think we can get a first person view with this as well. How do we change view again? Camera mode, K. Okay. There we go. What do you think of that then? That looks pretty cool, right? Right, we'll dump this here. There we go, right, okay, so I think we're done with the cat part. We'll put it back over here. Jump out. Right, let's see what we're doing now then. So, we're going to go back over to this guy. Have a quick word with Harpe. Now the roadway is open again on half sides. Well done. However, our mission does not end here. The refrigeration system at the local supermarket has failed. There is a mobile generator on the loading area of the flatbed truck. Right, so what we're going to do is get this over there now. Basically, just as he said, um, let's have a quick look here a sec, because I want to see... Ah, oh, the road's clear now. I want to see what this hammer is, though. Does this mean there's a job here for us to collect, or...? Oh, we found a collectible. Ah, that's what it is. That's good. Good to know. Yeah, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I have to get my golden hammer. I know you don't understand, but... It's all good, right? Okay, let's jump in here. Are they still waiting or have they gone now? Oh, they went that way. Well, you know, that was the road that I fixed, guys. Come on. I feel like Mr. Bull here, you know. We dug up the road. We fixed it. What, what more do you want? Right, okay, so... <clears throat> we're just going to do a little turn off here. And we're delivering this here. Um, we're on the context menu. And what does it want to do? It wants us to switch modes. So once again, guys, we're just drawing out these stabilizing arms here. Yep, okay. Park the flat flatbed crane next to the load and select the function mode. We've done that. Um, we're going to extend the crane hook with W and up. So those two things are going to do different things, I would think. Kind of, maybe one stretches out and the other one unsort of coils it, if that makes sense. Rotate the base of the loading crane with 
D and A. Okay, so you can go like kind of left and right or clockwise and anti-clockwise. Gives you an example of the different types of vehicles here as well. So there's another one here, which I've not seen that one before. So again here, extend and hook. So left and right seems to do that by the looks of things. And space will connect. Boards. The loading area of the crane dump dumper is protected by two boards. To open or close the boards approach with your character. Um, oh yeah, so the side boards. Call these like protective side panels really. So press space to unload a load. If you are above a loading area, a placeholder shows you where you can safely place the load. Okay. Positioning and rotating. Some loads have to be lifted and um, to mark positions on the construction site. You can use left shift and right. Left shift and left to rotate the attached loads. All right, so you're rotating the load to exactly where you want it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so we'll hit backspace just to come out with here. And we will extend this arm, I guess. Okay, so we're pressing W there to lift it. And then up there to extend, which, yeah, that's how it, it's the same as the previous game. Rotate round with A. And then we can attach with spacebar. And we can lift it upwards. Like that. Right, let's just take a quick look and see where we're supposed to... Be. Ah, there it is. Okay. So, I think if we go up and maybe a bit more. Is it over the edge there? Maybe we should have dropped the sides of the trailer, right? But we want to extend outward now. Um, I think that's going to be right. Yeah, there we go. Right to do that. Caught on the side of the trailer a bit. It's not ideal, really. Um, and then, was it left shift? There we go to rotate. Extend out a bit more and go down. How's that? We close to the ground now? Not really, okay, that's good. Didn't want to come crashing into the ground. So we'll go down a bit. Oh, yeah, it's definitely feisty. Okay, let's pull it in a bit. Nice and gentle, there we go. There we go, space bar, and then that's done. Turn on generator. Okay. Guess we'll hop out. Hop out. Hop out is in. I won't do the jump again, don't worry. Right, let's run around here. Right, we're going to switch this on. And there we go it. There we go it. What am I trying to say? Well, there, we, there it's nicely done. We've got that set on. Right, okay. Let's see what this dude wants. The lantern has torn the roof and must have damaged some lines in the process. It needs new cladding. First, lift the lantern out of the roof and then drive to the local building material dealer to pick up the required parts. Come on, let's not waste any time. Well, it just did an auto save there for us, so that's good. And he said, let's not waste any time, but guys, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. Really hope you've enjoyed it. I'll look to record more of this as the days go on and I will be back soon with more construction simulator if you've enjoyed this episode please do hit me with the subscription as it will catch you up and you will be aware of all videos that are new and fresh to this channel I want to say thank you so much for joining me today and I'll catch you guys again soon